Hello, and this is the Atworth easel for artists. It is an H-frame easel that is very heavy duty, made out of beech wood. I, it is very easily adjustable with six different knobs, two at the front, or sorry, made that four in the front, uh, and also two in the back where it is adjustable and convertible to a horizontal position. The knobs are very easy to adjust. This easel can be purchased for around $239 Canadian on Amazon Canada. Um, it is also available on eBay for around the same price and also on, um, I've seen it also listed on other sites uh, like Alibaba and, and things like that. I chose Amazon because of the Prime. I am a Prime member and I got Prime shipping. And it got to me within one day. I love this easel. It is very heavy duty. It's high quality. All the fittings are brass. The fittings are also very, or sorry, the assembly was also very, very well and very easy to do. This uh, knob that you see there adjusts it inch by inch in terms of height. The uh, easel itself can accommodate up to 48 inches of um, uh, canvas horizontally. Uh, width-wise or uh, the other way, I mean, it's it's pretty much unlimited. Um, I think that this canvas can actually hold, or this easel can actually hold e even bigger than that. It's 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 huge. All right, so it looks like the instructions are completely in Chinese, and um, I I don't speak any or read any, so this is going to be interesting. So they are in Chinese, but uh, the instructions are pretty straightforward. Um, assembly instructions are all, all illustrated very clearly, so uh, I think I'll be okay. What I noticed is that all the parts are wrapped in the uh, this this microfiber material, not not plastic. Or some of them are just the, just the wheels are in uh, plastic. Uh, this this easel has wheels, which is great, which is what I really want it. It's a convertible easel. It's going to be able to go upright or you can use it horizontally or at any angle. So it's very ergonomic. And it's made out of, I believe, beech wood. Here are all the parts laid out. All the pieces are, are very good. They're well sanded and protected. And um, there's even a little <laughs> branding. Um, and it, what's interesting is that it comes with these uh, perfectly good tools. Everything is given to you. So that's fantastic. And the hardware looks really sturdy and good. This is like good quality. Now I'm hoping as I assemble it, everything goes together well. All right, so excuse the noise. I have the fan on because I'm boiling hot in here. I'm in the foyer. Whereas this is the brightest lighting. I have like so many pot lights in here and that's why I'm in here. Anyways, so grab your bag of A bolts. We're going to assemble them into these parts. This one and this one. And you grab this piece of wood that looks like this. And they fit right into here and they're labeled clearly one, two, three, and they go right in there. That fits right in there, and then you place your bolt right in there in that hole. There you go. Okay, so to note, you're supposed to place the bolt into this hole, then you place the the uh, other nut into this hole and you align the holes up that way this will grab onto that and secure that joint to the other jo joint securely once you're done aligning it all it's not that hard uh, lining up all the holes and things like that. that's what it's going to look like You could also um, use these, the Phillips screw, the flathead, sorry, the flathead, and hold it secure while you screw it in from here, from this hole, 
and that might help you as well. It doesn't seem to matter but as much, but that would be the probably the correct way. Okay, so all the screws have been uh, secured right there like that. Whoops, hold on, sorry, focus. Okay, now once that's done, you're gonna align the wheels up with these four small holes. Uh, remember when you assemble these, that these, these holes should all be facing the same way. I just uh, did not pay attention and then I put them in the wrong way, so I had to, re I had to fix all of the, the bolts again and face them all the same way. Place the nut, or in, in the screw, in the uh, right hole and align it up correctly and then use your screwdriver and screw that in easy as that what i noticed about these wheels is that they all lock all of them have a locking feature so it doesn't matter where you put them so don't worry about that okay so now that that is done i have attached all the wheels to the first bottom piece the next step is we add the side uh, boards to the bottom of the easel. So number five attaches to this uh, bottom piece. So five goes right into there and you place the bolt side to the inside of this structure. Okay? They don't go on the outside. Don't do it this way. This way. Okay. Again with the A bolt, you're going to put it just just the same as the, you did uh, the number three pieces of joinery. You're going to put these into there, just the same way. Okay, so it helps to place the, that piece right onto some sort of something that will keep it up so you can screw this in to align it properly with that gold screw that goes in there. Um, it's kind of difficult to align it, but just keep working at it and it eventually it will line up and everything will join. Alright, so now that that is done, I have both of them joined up. That is what it looks like at this moment. This is the bottom, those are the brackets. And we now have these and number four, these pieces. There's two of these number four pieces. They go right here and they should line up correctly with the holes you have lined up with num the number five piece, the number four piece, and the number one pieces. Now we're going to screw those in. You will be screwing in the number four piece with the H screws. They are in this bag. They have kindly supplied an Allen key so that you may use this Allen key to screw in the H screws. So the number four pieces have been unscrewed in with the H screws and that's what it looks like. Step five, we are to assemble this piece. So you want to look for piece eight, which has a metal uh, or brass um, zigzaggy thing in there. And the piece number seven, which looks like that, it's got a nice brass plate. And piece number six, which looks like nine, but it's actually six, and uh, that looks like this one. And it's got the, uh, the slot there. When you attach piece seven to piece, piece number eight, which is this long piece, it attaches with the brass plate on the same side as the brass uh, zigzaggy part. They face the same way. Okay, now don't worry about uh, there being any bolts or anything missing. There are not. Uh, you're not. You don't need to attach these with any bolts. They just go on and join in, just like that. And I'm uh, assuming that when you put on the other piece on the sides, that is what will keep it in from falling out. So you attach piece ten and eleven. Here is ten and eleven to this, this end and this end, 
and they fit in that way. And you use the A screws to put them in there. Just like you've been doing with a lot of the other pieces. Same thing with the nuts lined up with the bolts and you put place it into the correct holes and align them up. Okay, so that is what this looks like right now as I am putting it together. This part here, you might think it doesn't really go, but that seems to be the way it is. Alright, next step is step 7 and we are going to be attaching C, which is this, 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 and this. And we're going to take that piece and attach it to the base at those points as indicated in the instructions. So here goes nothing. Okay, so that's how it goes. You put, you kind of hold it up with your shoulder if you're doing this by yourself. You place the bolts into the wood on each side so that stays up or it's easy for you to screw it in. There is a wood shim in between, that little wood piece that goes right there. So it's this, 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 and then this. And at the end, you're going to screw in the, the uh, washer and the black plastic piece. There it is, the black plastic piece and the washer. Okay, so now that's assembled. I have assembled the black plastic pieces on both sides with the bolt the wood shim in the middle, and the washer there. And that's what it looks like so far. Looking like an easel. Remember to place this part. That should be the back. And you can tell it's the back because the brackets that you attached are, this is the back. And that all attaches together. Step eight. You need to get these pieces. They are labeled nine. Uh, they may look like six, but these are nine. They're both labeled nine. They look like this. And you get the bag labeled with the letter B. And you attach these to these holes. It's pretty easy the um, pieces are attached this is what they will look like you can you can tell you've done it right when the brass all matches all the brass pieces are on the same side and that's how you tell the black part is on the outside these are going to be adjustable I'm assuming step 9 grab the bag labeled D you need two of them you need the bag labeled L and we're gonna um, assemble these completely adjusted straight like that and like they indicate here we're going to put, assemble D screws and D screw there and the L screw and L screw there with the black pieces on the outside these pieces that we just assembled will go on the inside so we attach here is the Thing, and those are going to go in there. The D ones that go on the bottom are huge. And these are the L ones. They're the same size somewhat as the other ones that we've been using. I have attached the bolts. Basically it goes right in here at the bottom. This is the very bottom piece. And it goes right through there. And you attach this. Remember to put the washer there. And attach the black piece to the screw there. It goes right through and it's it's fantastic. It all is very easy. Okay, so that's been assembled here. All the knobs are on the outside of the easel, and this part has now been installed as so. And that is what it should look like at this point. So for step 10, we, attach, we find the piece labeled 12. 12 and actually piece 13 are attached together. And uh, we want to attach 12 to, sorry not 12, uh, 
piece 12 and piece 15, sorry, are attached together. So, anyways, 12 attaches to piece 13 via four screws right there, and they align up. It helps to put something underneath this piece so that it aligns up correctly with 13. I put some shoes under there just to make it line up so you can screw it in perfectly and easily. The screws for this are in bag F. All the screws have been placed into this piece and that's what it looks like. Now for step 11 we place this piece uh, that is in bag E uh, with four screws into where it lines up right here at the bottom of piece 13, 12, and 15. There you go. This is what it looks like when you install this thing. I had a hard time putting this in because this is solid wood. I might need a drill to get that totally flush. But for now, it's very pretty secure, I guess. Well, this is this is just that, but this part is very secure. It's not moving. So now this part, we need to go to step 13. That one, we are going to convert the easel to the horizontal position and then slide this piece in this way and attach, uh, sorry, step 12, my apologies. And then we're gonna attach G to uh, the ed end piece there. Miliba, you are such a good Miliba. Yes, you are. What a good girl you are. Okay, so to loosen the, or to uh, convert the easel to a horizontal position, all you do is loosen the knobs slightly so that there's some movement. And you just slide it into horizontal position and it looks like that is the, as far as it goes in terms of, it will not go to a negative angle. So it will be horizontal when it, uh, it cannot adjust any further than that. So that's fantastic. It'll just kind of level up right for you. So when you assemble it, um, you just slide it right into here. It lines up correctly with that. And that shelf end goes where the, where the base is where you attached all of the other hardware. It's kind of hard to see when it's in horizontal position, but that's the way it goes. You might try not to do it upside down. Once you have attached G to uh, the end piece here, you slide this piece all the way out until you see there. Then you grab piece K with the little brass piece there and you attach it as so, right there. There might be some confusing issues with this easel, but I'm going to, I have figured it out here. So this mechanism is what adjusts your easel's height on the bottom. And it ratchets into these metal brass fittings so you pull on this and you can adjust it inch by inch and it locks into place into these, um, into this area. Oops, sorry about the focus. Uh, hold on, there you go. And um, it can go up and down, up and down, up and down. Now when you attach this piece over here, you might get confused at first because you're like, hey, how come when I put this on, you put it, just slide it on here, and then you're like, where do I put this? And it's because that, that the bottom piece has to, be, has to be locked into place before you can see the hole where you can attach this piece here. And that is what adjusts this brass piece to go up and down behind piece 15, which you can adjust height-wise. This easel can hold very big pieces of art. <laughs> so we're, I mean, you're not gonna have a problem holding 
you can hold a very, very big piece of canvas if you wanted to. But I highly doubt anyone would paint anything larger than this. So, to adjust this, you just slide and you want to keep that in place. You just turn the knob here and that pushes that brass piece into the back of this and that keeps it very stable. And then you can leave it flat like this or you can uh, slide it into a knob, tilt it into whatever angle you want. Of course my ceiling is not high enough for this to go completely upright. So I will loosen here and bring this down to a normal level. Adjust this so. Not too tight I guess, right? And this can adjust to whatever height you need it to be. Again, because of the brass shim inside that I just installed, but anyway, it can slide very easily up and down wherever you need it to go. And just tighten it to place. And you just um, slide this into place.